dear children welcome to biology class today i am going to teach about nutrition in animals what do you mean by nutrition the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body is known as nutrition there are two types of uh, nutrition methods first one is autotrophic mode of nutrition and second one is heterotrophic mode of nutrition first one is autotrophic mode of nutrition in which the organism prepared food by themselves from the simple substances second one is heterotrophic mode of nutrition in heterotrophic mode of nutrition the organisms take in ready made food prepared by the plants all animals performs heterotrophic mode of nutrition the animal nutrition has three important points first one is the nutrient requirement second one is mode of intake of food and third one is its utilization in the body these are the important nutrients we needed for our development first one is carbohydrate second one is protein fat vitamins minerals dietary fibers and the what we get these nutrients from the different sources the carbohydrate from potato and uh, different types of cereals so uh, protein we get from the meat and fish then fat from oil and nuts vitamins from vegetables and fruits the minerals from salt and some other sea foods and water these substances that is present in the complex forms we cannot utilize as such so they want to break down into the simpler forms the breakdown of complex compounds of the food into the simpler substances is called the digestion as you can see from this table different organisms use or take the different kinds of food in different ways example uh, in the case of butterfly it take nectar from the flowers through the symphony process this table is present in your textbook page number 11 uh, you can copy it next is nutrition in starfish it's a very interesting thing uh, the starfish normally feeds uh, shell fishes the shell that is made up of calcium carbonate when the shells open the starfish pops out its stomach through mouth and eat the fleshy part of the shellfish and go back into its body and slowly it is start digestion it is totally different from other organisms the next is digestion in human beings this is the picture of the digestive system here you can see the different parts of the uh, digestive system first one is to start from the mouth then salivary uh, glands are there esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus all these uh, parts together to form uh, alimentary canal here you can see uh, the different types of glands along with the uh, parts all these uh, parts together uh, form alimentary canal so here you can see different types of glands along with these parts so these Uh, alimentary canal and the glands associated with this together constitute the digestive system let us study one by one the first one is mouth and the buccal cavity the food is taken into the body through mouth that process is known as ingestion the different organs present inside the mouth that will helps for digestion the first one is the teeth look how beautiful this baby smile is the toddlers have milk teeth the milk teeth is very small the 20 in number it is white in color and it can be replaced but this is a picture of the permanent teeth compared to the milk teeth it is big in size and 32 in number and it is pale yellow in color and it cannot be replaced once gone it's gone in our mouth the tooth are arranged in a special manner here in this picture you can understand how these tooth are arranged in a special way so these yellow colored teeth that mentions about the incisors behind here that you can see the blue colored teeth that is known as canine and the orange colored uh, teeth that represents the premolar and the last one is known as molar each tooth has its own function in the case of incision it will helps to bind and cutting food canine uh, it will helps for tear the food materials then 
molar and premolar that will help for crushing and grinding food. These tooth also have some structural differences. In incisors, it is chisel shaped, sharp edge with one tool. But in the case of canine, it is very pointed and with one tool. Then the molar and the premolar. How the premolar different from molar means it have only the two broad uh, cusps and with one or two rows. But in the case of molar, the broad top with the four uh, cusps larger than the premolar, then usually with the two or three rows. From this picture, you can understand where the salivary glands are present in our mouth. The salivary glands secretes one enzyme known as salivary amylase. It will help for breakdown of starch molecules present in our food materials. We can understand the function of the uh, salivary amylase through one activity. Let us take the two test tube, test tube A and test tube B. In test tube A, we can uh, take a small amount of smashed boiled rice. After mixing, we can add one or two drops of iodine solution in both test tubes. Again, mix it well and wait for few minutes. After a while, we can see some changes occur in these test tubes. So in test tube A, we can see the presence of the blue-black color that denotes the presence of the starch in it. But in the test tube B, we cannot see any color change. That means there is no starch. What happened in the case of test tube B? Salivary amylase present in the saliva that will help to break down the starch present in the rice into glucose. The iodine that will not function with the glucose. It only shows the blue black color in the presence of starch. You already studied the iodine test in the sixth standard. Now you know the important role of tooth in digestion. So along with that you should uh, know uh, about the tooth decay. So the bacteria break down the sugars present from the leftover food and releases acid. The acids gradually damage the tea and this is called the tooth decay. The tooth decay causes the toothache and tooth loose and the uh, culprits of the tooth decays are chocolate, sweets, soft drinks, etc. How we can prevent this tooth decay? They clean the teeth with brush and dental floss twice a day. Let us see what's the process going on in our mouth. The first one is the digestion begins in the mouth with the grinding of food that is its physical breakdown. The second one is then the sugar is formed from the starch present in the food by the action of the salivary amylase enzyme present in the saliva. After the digestion from the mouth, the swallowed food passes through the esophagus or food pipe by a peristaltic movement in the esophagus. This pressure that will help to push the food downwards. The food that enter into the stomach from the esophagus. We will study it in the next class. That's enough for today. Thank you.